In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect Excel file and databases to the barcode application called GoLabel. This video is only applicable to Godex printers. This includes RT, G, DT, ES series and all the other Godex printers that support the software called GoLabel. Please refer to your user manual to see if your printer supports this software. This guide assumes that you have a pre-prepared Excel database file that you can use to follow the steps mentioned in this guide. Double click your Excel database file just to see if it's all prepared and ready. Make sure all the fields are populated. Then double click the Go Label file so that you can open it. The link is in the description. Click on the database select and then click on the Excel. Click on browse and click on database. Simply click on open, make sure you're using the correct database file. Click on OK and click on OK in, when you choose the sheet. I've used sheet 1 so I'll be choosing sheet 1 as my sheet. You can resize the preview window so it fits perfectly into your window and you can easily edit it. Click on the text bar, click on printer text and then click data source. Click in the database folder, click insert fields and select the field that you want to insert. In some situations, the go label file might appear. You can just delete it easily and add and click insert fields once again for you to correct it. In some situations, it's not required and you can simply remove the text data. However, in this case, I would have to delete it and reinsert it. It's quite simple. Resize your name as you want it and place it wherever you want it. I will be resizing mine later on in the video once I add the barcode. After completing this part, simply click on the barcode tab on the top and click on one dimensional barcode. There are various other types of barcodes that you can also use but in this situation I need to use the 1D barcode. So I click the 1D barcode and I click on the preview window in order to insert the barcode. Once again, go to data source on the top, click on database, click insert fields and choose your field. Here I'm choosing barcode and I click OK. In this case, the go label did not appear so I can simply click OK and proceed. Here I'm going to change the symbology because my printer and my scanner supports the code 12B auto. However, you must consult your user manual or ask your IT technician to see which should be used. I readjust the font size and the barcode size and I click on printer text once again. In this case, I will be clicking data source, clicking database, changing the alignment to center, clicking insert fields, clicking the price and then clicking OK. Here you can see the go label. I am demonstrating how you can use a different type where you can just simply remove the go label. Click OK once you've completed that and you can resize this as well to fit your barcode. Now, as you can see, this barcode doesn't look very neat because there are large spaces on the bottom and top of this barcode. In order to correct that, simply right click, click page setup and click on the margin sizes and the page heights. You can adjust these to your liking. Once you do this, you have completed your barcode and you can export it as, as whatever format you want or you can directly print it. 